forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. Hey, senorita. Got a light and some smokes to go with it to make my day? Where's the sample? Okay, we skipped the foreplay. As a matter of fact, I was just going to get it. Where's the love, baby? Sounds like fun to me. Just hurry up. Okay, lady. Where do you stand on all of this? Exactly what kind of group are you working for? There are some things in the world better off not knowing. This is one of them. <laughs> Fine. I can take a hint. I don't care who you are. As long as you get rid of that old man and his religious friends. Among all the people involved in this, Luis Serra has the least entanglements. He works for no organization, preferring to move on his own. I'm the one who told the organization of his importance. I did it because I like him. His history betrays an enthusiasm I once shared. It was a stroke of luck that I happened to intercept his email for help. It seems he can't trust the police, so he sent the email to an old friend from college. He must have thought his friend was still alive. At any rate, that's how I managed to find him. Apparently, he's been conducting his own investigation of the cult while doing research on Las Plagas. A brilliant scientist. He's accumulated a pile of data and pieced it all together. Must be why Sadler hired him. Hmm. Too bad Sarah's snooping has aroused his suspicion. When I told him who I was, he practically begged to be taken into custody. He needed protection. He said, I have no love for Las Plagas or this stupid cult I want out. I just want peace and quiet again. I ordered him to bring me a Master Plaga specimen, a sample for evidence. Looks like he's one of the few people whom Sadler actually trusts. Tracking him down and getting my hands on the sample shouldn't be difficult. I doubt the cult will take kindly to his escape, though. I'll have to guide this along if I want it to go smoothly. <laughs> 